October 11th, the Divine Maternity of Mary. This glorious feast was established as a commemoration of the Third Ecumenical Council of the Church at Ephesus. It was set up for our own time in 1931 by Pope Pius XI, exactly 1,500 years after the Council of Ephesus. The Catholic Church infallibly declares and defines the Divine Maternity of Our Lady, the church tells us that the same person who is in the son of god the eternal father in his divine nature is also the child of mary the virgin in his human nature saint elizabeth the cousin of our lady cried out for joy in her doorway when mary came to visit her after the annunciation and said and whence is this to me that the mother of my lord should come to me St. Paul clearly tells us in the epistle to the Galatians, chapter 4, verse 4, God sent his Son, born of a woman. The dignity of the Mother of God transcends anything that can ever be imagined. It is God giving himself in fullness to a creature in relationship and in love. Now that God has become man, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, through all eternity must call god the father his father and mary the virgin his mother what god the father is to the second person of the blessed trinity by nature mary the virgin is to him by grace the two loveliest prayers a catholic can say are the our father who art in heaven and the hail mary full of grace it was the council of ephesus which gave us the end of the hail mary holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners and through catholic love and reverence there was added the phrase now and at the hour of our death amen the sin of our original father has spoiled us original sin has soured us puffed us up and corrupted us the actual sins we have committed mortal or venial pardoned though they may be have nevertheless increased our weakness our inconsistency and our corruption and have left evil remains in our souls let us say boldly with saint bernard that we have need of a mediator with the mediator himself and that is the divine mary who is most capable of filling that charitable office it was through her that jesus christ came to us and it is through her that we must go to him if we fear to go directly to jesus christ our god whether because of his infinite greatness or because of our vileness or because of our sins let us boldly implore the aid and intercession of mary our mother she is so charitable that she repels none of those who ask her intercession no matter how great sinners they have been for as the saints say never has it been heard since the world was the world that anyone who has confidently and perseveringly had recourse to our blessed lady has ever been repelled two of the most common prayers to the mother of god the hail mary and the hail holy queen if said frequently and with devotion will enable us to live daily under the protection of our mother mary